Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today I'm going to show you how to create this op art wheel in Illustrator. Okay, first step go to the stroke, click on the stroke. So make sure you, that you have something on the stroke. Click on the fill and click on the none so you don't have anything on the fill. Click on the stroke again so it's on the top. Now long click on this rectangle, select the ellipse tool. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a circle. Make sure that circle is, you know, the stroke is in the center. Right now the, the stroke is inside. So I'm going to go to the stroke option and select align stroke to center. There you go. I'm going to press and hold Alt and drag it out until they intersect. Boom, they intersect right here, as you can see. And now uh, what I'm going to do is add another anchor point right here when, where they intersect. So I'm going to select the pen tool, which is located right here. Click here at the intersection point and it basically added another anchor point on this line. I'm going to select the direct selection tool, which is here and delete these parts. So I'm going to select this anchor point, delete it, delete this one and delete this anchor point. So basically you're remained with this line, interior line. Okay, I'm going to increase the stroke thickness somewhere around 8. And I'm going to change the profile to this one right here, the fourth profile. As you can see, this center area is thick now and this outer area is really thin. I don't want this. So I'm going to go to this little double arrow, flip along, and as you can see, it changed the profile. From here, I'm gonna go here where the reflect tool is, long click, long click and select the, the rotation tool. Press and hold Alt, click on this anchor point right in the center and go with minus four. Click copy. Press Control D until it goes round and round. Now I'm gonna select them all and desel and press and hold shift and click on the circle again so now it's deselected. Now I want to make sure that the white line here, basically this line, is the same thickness as uh, the black line. I'm gonna eyeball it so I'm gonna decrease a little bit the width. So this is too much, I'm gonna go with 7.5. I think now we got like pretty much you know everything is you know the same thickness the white area and the dark area now I'm gonna click on the circle I'm gonna press and hold shift plus alt and scale it down a little until you're gonna see these areas outside and from here press ctrl C and then ctrl F this way it's gonna create another copy on the top or you can go to edit and paste in front I'm gonna do the same thing press and hold shift plus alt and scale down the circle okay now press and hold shift and select the second circle so you selected both of the circles now go to the object go to blend and click on make now go to the blend options here double click select specified steps increase the number i'm gonna go with seven click OK and we're gonna expand this so go to object click on expand click OK and we're gonna need to flip these so go here where's this little arrow swap fill and stroke so we're on the fill now and not on the stroke and another thing we need to do is select everything so you selected all the lines and go to object and expand appearance now everything basically is expanded now we're gonna work with the Pathfinder. Usually the Pathfinder is not activated, so you need to go to the Windows and select the Pathfinder. This is the Pathfinder options and we need to divide the circle. So click on here on the divide. Now basically everything is cut into pieces. So I'm gonna right click on group and from here I'm gonna select the ones that I need. So I'm gonna click on this one press and hold shift and select this one so basically you go and select like stairs you know you don't select this one but you select this one you don't select this but this and so on and so forth okay I selected all right click group I'm gonna grab this out and I'm gonna delete the rest and I'm gonna go with the a rotate tool again click on it press and hold alt and click here on this anchor point 
and go with minus four again, click on copy. Press Ctrl D until it goes round and round. And this is how you create this effect really fast. And this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. And have a good one. Bye.